Hey there, Segudo golfers. Tom Segudo here at Tradition Club in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's a beautiful day to learn about getting the downswing right. I see so many golfers struggle with the downswing. You know, the good old over the top problem that's been plaguing golf for years. Well, today that whole steep problem ends and you start learning to shallow the club like a pro. That's the position that gets you hitting the ball far, consistent, and straight. I just used this exact feeling to take a 30 handicap golfer who was swinging so far across the ball that the only thing he could do was slice it in the woods or hit it straight left. And instead of doing that, getting him on the proper path instantly after doing this drill for about five minutes. Really, five minutes could end your golf swing suffering and wandering in the desert. And here's what we have to learn. We've got to learn first to change the path. We know that. How do we get the club here and staying on that path though? That's the big question. Imagine this. I want you to imagine that there is a string and your hands are gonna go on this string and it looks something like this. It starts here, goes down towards the ball. The string is never over here. The string is never under here. Your hands are on the string and the butt of the club can only travel on the string. So as I swing down, it's staying on the string, thinking about the hands. As I do this, and if you're doing this and you're used to going steep, this is going to feel weird. The club is traveling down the proper path. This is the pro way to think about the downswing. You've got to learn, instead of pushing the hands over, which is that desire to hit. Yes, I want to hit the ball. I want to get to the ball. I want to rush myself to the ball. That tensing up that happens. That problem that makes you want to run to the hills. That can go away if you keep the hands on a string. Because to keep the hands on a string, not only does it stop you from pushing over and hitting, it slows you down from rushing. You can't really rush this because then the string doesn't work. You broke the string, you snapped the string. You've got to be gentle with the string. Bonus points if you think of the string as a thin string, almost like a spider web, that you can't break it. That would slow you down. So if I knew it's a spider web and I can't break it, I'd be going, hmm, I feel that. Club's in the right spot. So with this 30 handicapper, you know what he said? First thing was, wow, Tom, that feels very weird. Are you sure? And then we go back and we look at the video and you see this. What a difference. What a difference. Knocking out the old. Pushing the old out of the game. Welcoming the new. So now I've got this string. He's got this string and he's bringing it down. He said, wow, you know what? I don't care what it feels like. That's the look I've been trying to get for 30 years. So then we start working on it. So I'm holding my hands up here with a club representing the string. And I'm saying, just drag your hands along that. But we don't have that here because I don't, I just got a camera today. But just envisioning that, there's my string. There's my string. And you, once you get to here, you can just, just hit the ball. You'll be fine. You'll be able to hit it. So I got my string. Do it really slowly so you're not rushing. There's my string, there's my string. And I hit. And that will change your downswing. That's all that's needed to beat over the top. That's all that's needed to end world golf deprivation that's happening all over because of this steep downswing. All you need to do is place your feeling in the butt of the club. And I know it's hard. It's simple. Sounds simple, not easy. It's simple. You could sit there in a mirror all day and just do this. And if you did that, you would end up fixing your downswing, keeping that club on a string. And then my downswing is good. The club never goes over. You got to envision the string. But this is this change is not for the golfer who wants quick quick fix. Does it work when you do it? Yes. But this change is for the golfer who wants results. I'm tired of band-aids. I don't do band-aids. You might notice that on this channel, there's no band-aids. Everything is for lasting improvement. That's why you don't get the whole golf swing easier do now one minute thing, unless it's really that easy. Some stuff is that easy, but this is downswing. I've got to keep the club behind me. I've got that string. So envisioning that string, every club in the bag, driver two. Now, if you come in from that, hitting down a lot in the wrong area, the death zone, and you start feeling shallow, shallow, well, you are going to be 
feeling different contact with the ball. The first thing you notice is you're going to be so shallow that you might even top a ball. Why? Because you're shallow. You're not steep anymore. You're used to steep. You've gone to shallow. You're going to start feeling a different contact with the ball. Same thing happened to me when I went from my steeps to my shallows. I started topping a few, but it comes with the knowledge of like, okay, I expect that to happen a few times. But I know that once I work on it, I'll get used to it and I'll fix it. It's just gonna start working into your game, shallowing it on the string. Club staying behind me. This will prevent all of your golf swing problems in that downswing. And really, the downswing is what you need to hit the ball. So if you can set the club in the downswing and get it correct here, almost all your problems are going to disappear. And that's what I'm teaching people in the Segudo.golf online golf school. We're doing this. We're learning how to do this. So many golfers are coming out of this and going to this, and they put the work in. You gotta put the work in. If you don't put the work in, you're not gonna get the results. Shallowing the club, shallowing the club. I've got the string. I'm pulling the club along the string. Now that's why we play golf. Whew. I know you can do this. This problem can end. You've got to be committed to it. I believe in you. I believe you can end this problem in your game. You just have to give it time and it will reward you. I'll see you in the next episode.